their brothers and sisters tell it like it is. There's no telling what they're going to say or how much they're going to win. All we know for sure is they're going to tell it all today on... And here's the host of I'm Telling, Maury Fazzo! Thank you. Thank you and welcome to I'm Telling, where brothers and sisters can win a whole ton of prizes and money, too simply by showing how well they really know each other. Let's meet our teams for today. Will you please say hello to Danielle and Jeff Benson. And welcome, please, Rose and Isaac Gabayev. And say hi to Carrie and Scott Burstein. Yeah. Good luck to every one of you. Here's how we play, I'm telling. We're going to ask each of our players about their brothers or sisters' hobbies and friends and experiences, and maybe we'll reveal a funny secret or two. We'll record their answers after we magically teleport their brother or sister to our isolation zone. When we teleport them back, we'll ask them the same questions. Now, if they match, they'll earn points, and whoever has the most points at the end of two rounds will go on to our spectacular pick-a-prize arcade where they could wind up taking home every single prize on the stage. We look ready now. Let's get started. Round one focuses on the girls telling all about their brothers. So, guys, time to teleport you to the ISO zone. And your brothers are flashing off into the universe. The first question is for the girls, and it's worth 25 points. And, Danielle, you're going to select one of three categories for the first question using your random selector. Let's take a look at these categories. Smurf turf. Last Brain, and Casting Call. We're going to spin them around whenever you're ready, Danielle. Hit your selector. <laughs> casting Call. Danielle, as you know, Eddie Murphy is the star of Beverly Hills Cop 1 and 2. Now, if your brother starred in a movie, would it be called Beverly Hills Dum Dum, Beverly Hills Slob, or Beverly Hills Heartthrob? Beverly Hills... Um, slob. Beverly yeah. Hills slob. <laughs> he never tucks his shirt in. He's so messy. It's incredible. Messy guy. <laughs> Rose. Well, he's Beverly Hills slob, definitely, because I always tell him whenever I go anywhere near his room, you have to clean it up in there. It's so disgusting. And he just, he just won't listen, and he doesn't care, and he's just always a slob, and he doesn't care about that. He just Beverly doesn't Hills bother him. Slob. Carrie. Well, I think I'd call him Beverly Hills slob, too, because he's really... He's just never, ever clean. He's always, he's always just never cleans his room. He never does anything unless Mom tells him to. So a bunch of sloppy guys, huh? Okay, Rose, <laughs> the next question's for you. It's worth 50 points. You get to select the category this time. Let's have a look. Secret Busters, Big Bucks, and Peas in a Pod. We're going to spin them around whenever you're ready, Rose. Secret Busters. Rose, who can keep a secret better, you or your brother? I really don't know, because I always tell people that I'm going to keep a secret, but then I usually don't. So probably, he probably keeps a better secret. He keeps secret. a better yeah. secret. Carrie. Well, I think, I think I would, because I don't know that many people too well, and I wouldn't tell people secret from my, from anyone unless, unless they told me to tell a secret, so I think it would be me. It would be you, Danielle. My brother all the way. Oh, yeah? He tells everybody one little peep out of uh, somebody. He just goes and blabs it on to the world. So, yeah, but who can keep a secret better, you or your oh, brother? Oh, I can. Oh, you can. Yeah. Okay. We'll see what he has to say. All right. <laughs> Carrie, the uh, final question's for you. It's worth 75 points. Let's take a look at your category. There, let's get physical, double occupancy, and stud or dud? We're going to spin them around whenever you're ready, Carrie. Hit that. Double occupancy. Carrie, when you go to bed at night, what, if anything, is in bed with you? Well, <laughs> well I, like, I like to sleep, sleep with my... Um, I just won a stuffed lobster in the machine the other day, uh -huh. and I, I, I sleep with him sometimes. And my best friend, she gave me a pillow for my birthday, and I haven't seen her in a long time because she went to Montana. And I sleep with that every night. So I'd say my, lobster, my stuffed lobster and the pillow. Lobster and pillow. Okay, Danielle. 
I'd say I sleep with the Cabbage Patch Kid my grandpa gave me. Cabbage Patch Kid, Rose. I, well, I don't really sleep with anything except for my pillow, but he doesn't usually keep up on my life, so he'd probably say that I sleep with my white teddy bear. Your white teddy bear. All right, sisters, we've recorded your answers, and we'll bring back the brothers in just a minute to see how well they actually do know them. And it's time now to teleport the brothers back from the ISO zone. So let's do that right now. And the brothers are back from the ISO zone. Welcome back, guys. This first question is worth 25 points, and the category selected is casting call. Jeff, you get to answer this one first. Jeff, as you know, Eddie Murphy is back as the star of Beverly Hills Cop. If you starred in a movie, would it most likely be called Beverly Hills Slob? Beverly Hills Dum Dum, or Beverly Hills Heartthrob? What do you think your sister said? Mm. Mm. Beverly Hills Slob? Danielle said <laughs> Beverly Hills Slob. That's an extra 25 points. Way to go. Isaac. Oh, gosh. I think she would probably say Beverly Hills Slob. Let's see what she did say. Rose said... Beverly Hills Club, that's a match, all right. Well, I think she'd probably say Beverly Hills Club also. Okay, Carrie did say Beverly Hills Club, all right. Sloppiness pays off for everybody to the tune of 25 points. Okay, Isaac, the next question is for you. It's worth 50 points. The category selected is Secret Busters. Isaac, who can keep a secret better, you or your sister? Mm. Mm. Probably my sister. Your sister, Rose, said... That you can! <laughs> oh, dumb! What about the time you took that stuff and I told Mom? And I always tell stuff about my friends. Yeah, I know. So oh. oh, God. Oh. Well, oh. Up. Well, it. it's oh, not God. a secret anymore. Okay. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Well, I'd probably say she can, because whenever someone tells me a secret, I can't keep it that long. You can't keep it, and you say she can. Let's see what she said. She said she can. That's the match. That's the point. All right. Jeff? Of course, Danielle. Of course, Danielle. Danielle said, of course, Danielle. And that's the match for 50 points. Way to go. All right, Scott, this is the third question. It's worth 75 points. The category selected is double occupancy. Scott, when your sister goes to bed at night, what, if anything, is in bed with her? Oh, um, well, probably a book, because she always has a book right on her bed, and she's always reading. A book. Carrie said... A stuffed lobster. Yeah. I, I don't go uh, to sleep with a book. I, put, I take it off my bed after I go to sleep. Yeah, you're right, you're right. A stuffed lobster. <laughs> okay. Jeff. I would say the Cabbage Patch Kid. And Danielle said, Cabbage Patch Kid. That's right. That's the match. Way to go. Nice going. Isaac. Ooh, um, Tough one, huh? She doesn't have anything in her bed. <laughs> There's nothing there. Well, we can take that as an answer. Nothing? Nothing. All right, Rose said... A white teddy bear. Isaac, I didn't think that you'd listen. I mean, I was going to no, say nothing, but... That yes, white teddy bear is in the basement. It's not in the basement. All right, you guys, at the end of round one, Rose and Isaac have 25 points, Carrie and Scott have 75 points, and Danielle and Jeff have 150 points. All those points could change, because in round two, we'll go the other way as we learn all about the girls from their brothers. Okay, girls, now it's time to teleport you to the ISO zone. <laughs> we made your sisters disappear. I bet you wish you could do that. Okay, the first question for the guys is worth 50 points, and now they get to select the category for each question. Jeff, you're first. Let's take a look at your category. Best dressed, 
Most likely to. And typecasting, we're gonna spin them around whenever you're ready, Jeff. Hit that selector. Best dressed. Okay, you like that one, huh? When she's dressed in her best outfit, would you say your sister most resembles Vanna White, Madonna, or Howard the Duck? What would I say? Yeah, what would you say? Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. There's no question in his mind. Isaac, how about you? That's easy. I know it's Howard the Duck. Howard That's the Duck. I don't believe any of this. Okay, Scott. Well, I'd probably say Howard the Duck because she doesn't look that good even if she's wearing anything like... I you see. Can we'll see what she has to say about that. All right, Isaac, you're next. The next question's worth 75 points. You get to select the category this time. Let's have a look. Boys, 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 Ms. Showbiz and Spelling Bee. We're going to spin them around whenever you're ready, Isaac. Hit that button. Boys, boys, boys. All right, Isaac, when it comes to boys in general, does your sister like them a little bit, a whole lot, or not at all? Hmm. I'd probably say a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, Scott. Well, my sister, um, she liked certain people, like, one of them in, like, a long time ago, she used to like a 16-year-old. But now she doesn't like anyone, you know, no boys. She has, friend, she has one friend that's a boy, but that's about it, so I'd say no. Not at all is your answer? Okay, Jeff. Can you read that question again? Sure. When it comes to boys in general, does your sister like them a little bit, a whole lot, or not at all? That is obvious. A whole, a whole lot. <laughs> Gee, okay. you just see her. Uh, there's a guy who called last night, and we were at Froman's, and she died to get home. Had to get she home? just died because she thought that she would call him the, the guy would call him the answering machine, but she wanted to talk to him real. It, had to get home right away yeah, for that important Yeah, she wished call. she had a car. All right, final questions for Scott. It's worth 150 points, and you get to select the category this time, Scott. Let's take a look at them. Out of this world, passing the buck, and junk food junkies. We're going to spin them around whenever you're ready, Scott. Hit that button. Junk food junkies. Scott. Who eats more junk food, you or your sister? Well, my sister, she buys more junk food than me, but I always ask her every night, I come in and go, can you please have some junk food? <laughs> and she always says, well, I guess. Whenever I got a spare box, I just, just buy candy. I just go out there. Thank you. So your answer is? Mm -hmm. It's going to be me. You. You eat more junk food. Jeff. Well, if I like junk food, I'll just go and take it. Uh-huh. So I would say me because... I'm going to get a cavity. I know it. I feel it. <laughs> he feels the cavity. Yeah, I feel it. Right. I know I would because you know, I, I always sneak junk food in. I just lost a tooth the other day, and okay. it had a cavity in it. Okay, I so lost you it, eat but I junk food. All right, you guys, we've recorded the answers, and in a few seconds, we're going to teleport the sisters back and find out who's going to go on to play our Pick a Prize Arcade. <laughs> Teleport their sisters back from the ISO zone. So let's do that right now. See news special report. Here is Connie Chung in New York.